Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I'm gonna bring you a video on how I store ammo. Uh, now I did do this at the beginning of my prepping career, uh, but I have evolved. And now as I get older, when I buy new things, I'm not planning on using these, these 22s, all this ammo, I'm not. This is not for me, this is for my grandchildren. It's also an investment. Um, so instead of having stocks and bonds, I have ammo. And over the last many years, we've had a few ammo crunches where people couldn't find it and I have sold ammo. I've sold ammo to friends at a very reduced price and then I've sold ammo an, ammo to perfectly good strangers that I've met through uh, many sources and I've made a profit off that and that's the plan. Uh, but I guarantee you they were able to get it for me when they couldn't get it anywhere else and they did pay a premium um, but they were all very happy to get it and that's my investment. Uh, I hate when friends ask me to buy ammo because then you can sell it, you sell it to them a little cheaper, you don't make as much off of it, but they're friends and guess what? Uh, one day they might sell that ammo back to you or give it to you back uh, in an emergency. What do I do for my ammo? You buy your ammo from the store and get it shipped to you. I take it and cling, cling film, Reynolds wrap, whatever you want to call it, is what you want to do. You're going to set that in there, roll, 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 tuck your ends in. And then the most important part is put your sticker on. Any kind of sticker, if you don't have a sticker, just put a little piece of paper there. Uh, you can see January 2022 NK. These are Nate's ammo. So all my ammo, I don't label with my initials, but anything of Nate's I label um, just so he knows what's his. And it really doesn't matter. He shoots all my ammo anyways. And I, he probably saves his, so he's a smart kid. So, do not write on the box. The reason is it's a resale purpose. If you write all over the box, everything, I think it takes away from the value of the product. People will look at it and say, ah, what's all this writing on here? So, the sticker is placed on the saran wrap, and then you tape it. I mean, we tape it. I would rather spend a, 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 you know, a couple dollars, and it doesn't cost much to put all this ammo back with the tape. So we tape, literally we tape this thing all three directions and it is basically waterproof. You could probably throw this in a bucket of water and leave it there for a long time, pull it out and it's gonna be good. So the tape is important. Then what we do, ammo cans are your best. I am so short ammo cans, I got a bunch of ammo to put up that I bought recently. Um, I gotta go get some more ammo cans and I'll show you where I get them. I'm gonna actually go there. And then you label them. I have found that in the past I have some cans that I have not labeled sufficiently. I don't want to open them right now. They might just have the caliber there and they might have the amount of ammo in the can. And to me that's the mistake. You want to know what's in there in case you're looking for a specific brand of ammo that your rifle set up better. Um, I will tell you I put a few things on here that most people don't. Uh, let's see. I call this war stock. So anything you can call it long-term storage. You can call it whatever you want. I call it war stock because I'm in the military or was in the military, and, and, and war stock is a term we used. Also, you can put on here. I put on here wrapped, so I know they're wrapped because I have some what I consider war stock that's not wrapped, uh, that's older. Also, see right here, and no fingerprints. I put no FP fingerprint. So what that means is no one has opened these boxes and played with it. And that's for two reasons. I don't want to put any type of sweat or, or material on that brass case. Uh, it'll store longer. Plus, I don't want my fingerprints on these. So if I ever need to know, this has no fingerprints on it. Now, granted, the container on the outside has fingerprints. So that's just a little tip that you might need one day. So I label the inside and the outside because this can get torn off. Put a piece of tape over that, that will help it because when you're moving stuff back and forth, label the front and here because I have four or five cans stacked on here. I don't want to lift them off just to find out what's in it. I can look on the front. Same information in the inside in case all this gets destroyed. And this is a little bit unique. I like to keep one caliber in here, but I bought these pretty much at the same time. This is November 2021, and this is January 2022. So it's within a few months. So I put them together. This is an investment for me. Um, I'm also going to include a note to my grandkids. I'm not going to read you the note, but I will tell you what I put in the note, sort of. I address it as GNL and any future grandchildren. I don't want any other future grandchildren after I pack this up to be born and they'll, they'll feel left out. But any future grandchildren. And I wrote them a nice little message. Um, 
I don't put their names in there. GNLs for Gabe and Landon. The reason I don't put their names in there is just to identify them some more. Uh, so if someone found this, they really wouldn't know who this goes to. So I'm going to include the note in here for them because this thing's going to get sealed up. I seal it up. D don't just shut it and put it away because what will happen is because it's I've done it. I, I'm at fault. I have looked at it and opened up more stocked and I pulled a brown box of ammo out. I've shut it and then I forget, oh, where did that go back? Or I might have shot that ammo to test it. And so my count's all off on the front. So you can use a zip tie, you can use whatever you want. But if you take it and put it through the hole, go around the thing at the bottom, shut it down. And then go ahead and twist this and cut cut off the excess. That way you're you know for sure this has not been open. What it says on the front or the top is what's in there. So start thinking long term. Some of you might say, man, I can barely get ammo just to shoot. I understand that. But if you're going to go do long-term storage, come up with a, a way to put it up so you know it's gonna last a long time. There's a lot of money in here. Um, but the thing is, to me, yeah, it's a lot of money in there, but what happened in five or ten years we can't get ammo? I want this ammo to last as long as possible. Uh, I, I want these 22s in here, my grandchildren, um, and maybe my great-grandchildren, to be able to plank, to be able to shoot, to be able to have fun, and, and to not be worried about, oh, we have no ammo for our, our firearms. So, I, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.